I'm Cody with Fox 17, and I'm here at the Blank Park Zoo, and we're talking rhinos with Kevin Drees. And Kevin, you are? Uh, Director of Animal Care and Conservation. Director of Animal Care and Conservation here at the Blank Park Zoo. Now, recently here at the zoo, you had something special happen with the rhinos. What was we that? did. We had a, a, a birth. The very first rhino, probably the first one ever born in Iowa. Wow. We had a naming contest, and her name is Tumani, which Tumani. means hopeful. At least it wasn't Rhino McRhino face, right? No, we, we went uh, the high road. <laughs> there you go. Tumani means hopeful, which is go. really what the species needs. Because yeah. rhino species are in trouble. Absolutely. Yeah, tell us about the, the status of rhinos worldwide. Okay, it's not good. Not good, um, yeah. um, From 1970, they estimated there was probably a million rhinos in, in, on Earth, five different species. Mm -hmm. uh, as of 1995, there is um, less than 20,000. Wow. And of the species that we have, the eastern black rhino, there are less than a thousand individuals left in the wild and so something dramatically has to change in order for the species not to be leaving the planet and the the eastern black is a critically endangered species yeah which means they could be gone within a generation right? correct yeah so what the, the the issue is with their horns right with poachers that's true um rhinos uh, in, in the history, uh, they've had. There's been two reasons that they've been persecuted. The first was as colonial-style hunting. Mm -hmm. They were actually trophies. But now, the, what they're facing by poachers is very much different. It's for black market uh, rhino horn harvesting, and it's believed that the rhino horn has medicinal purposes. When in reality, it's made out of the same material as our fingernails. And so, really, it's a cultural, it's a black market uh, kind of issue, and it really needs to stop. Okay, and what, what can people who are watching this do to help positively affect the, the rhinos? Right, well there's two things. One is very easy. One is visit the Blank Park Zoo because one of our conservation partners is the International Rhino Foundation and a percentage of all the money raised at the zoo goes to support that conservation project. The other thing that people can do is uh, really be aware of what wildlife um, laws are being passed in the state of Iowa and part of it is a ban on not only rhino but uh, ivory, any kind of black market wildlife product. That's where people should get involved and realize that um, they may think we work because we're in the United States and the rhinos are in Africa and Asia that we're not involved but in reality the United States is the second largest consumer of this black market wildlife kind of thing. Wow. All right, well, thank you. That's a, a ton of yeah. great information. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to their website at blankparkzoo.com and uh, make sure you get out to the zoo this summer and see these beautiful rhinos.